Hey guys, Blake here with Torque Boards. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your 60A BMS right here to your 12S4P battery pack. So what we're going to need for this tutorial is, of course, our 12S4P battery pack right here and our BMS that we're going to be installing to it, which is our Torque Boards lithium ion 12s 44.4v bms which has a discharge current of 60 amps and a charge current of 30 amps so there are a lot of wires coming out of our bms as you can see right here and it can look a little confusing at first but all we're going to be focusing on for this specific tutorial video is this positive ring terminal connector right here and this negative ring terminal connector right here these thicker red and blue wires coming out of here and this wire right here, which we'll worry about in a later tutorial, this will be plugged into our on and off switch. And this P negative wire right here actually is connected to the red wire, which is going to bolt down onto the positive spot on our battery via the ring terminal connector right here. And the other wires attached to this right here, this is going to be your charger negative wire that plugs into the other end of your charging negative wire, which we'll see later on. And same for one of these red wires, this will be the charging positive wire. And this other red wire is actually going to be intended for an optional use of a VX1 remote. This wire just needs to be plugged into something or soldered onto any positive terminal on your battery for it to uh, connect to the remote. And last but not least, we have our XT90 connector, um, which is going to later end up being connected to our ESCs. So we can ignore everything that I just talked about for now, except for this red and blue ring terminal right here. So our blue wire right here, this is our battery negative, and this is going to be bolted down into this terminal right here, which is our battery negative, as you can see listed on our LCD board right here. And this positive terminal, which is our battery positive, this is going to wrap around this way and be bolted down into our battery positive terminal right here. And just to be cautious, since we are dealing with a live battery while connecting all this together, and we don't want anything to touch that's not supposed to, we are going to go ahead and tape off all the ends of these connectors with some electrical tape. After we have all of our ends taped off, we can start connecting our BMS to the battery. And what we're gonna need to connect this to the battery is this 13 pin wire harness that's going to plug in right here into our BMS. And this end will end up being plugged into the battery. So this black wire right here on our wire harness, this is actually a negative wire. And we know that because it's black. And if we plug this black wire into the uh, side right here with the positive symbol, this would cause a short because this is where your most positive wire is supposed to go, which would be our red wire on the other end of here. So you just want to follow the wires and the patterns on your BMS right here and these indicators on your battery right here. So this is the proper way it would need to be plugged in with your positive wire plugging in right here and matching up with the positive symbol right here and your negative matching up with the negative symbol here. And then you'll want to do the same with this side. So your negative will match up with the negative on this side and positive will match up right here. And just so you know, if you did flip this, you would cause a short because it would be plugged in the opposite way. So this right here is exactly what you're gonna want. When inserting your wire harness right here, you wanna be very careful and you wanna do it slowly because if you insert it at the wrong angle, you can bend your pins right here and either you're gonna be out of luck and you can break some off or you'll have to use a small tool to bend these pins back in place. After we have this side plugged in, we can plug this side into our battery. And after this point, we wanna be very, very careful with these two terminals right here because if these touch any metal, you're gonna cause a short because once this is plugged in, our battery is going to be live. 
and connect it to everything on here. Now we have our wire harness attached to our BMS and battery, so everything is live. And just for clarification, because I didn't mention earlier, your BMS does have to lay this way with the current setup we're gonna be using for our tutorials. And what I mean by that is your plug-in right here for your BMS is going to have to face this way, closest to your positive terminal of your battery. So the next step in connecting our BMS to the battery is going to be connecting our ring terminal connectors right here to our negative and positive terminals right here. So to connect these, we're going to be using two M5 by 10 millimeter bolts with an M5 washer, one for each of our terminals right here. So we'll start off by connecting our battery negative wire right here to the terminal. And we're just going to take our socket cap bolt with our washer and put this over the top of the ring terminal right here. And we're just going to carefully bolt this on. And we're going to want to have the wire laying in this position because this will allow the most room possible for the inside of our board once everything is set up because we need this BMS to push up against here as far as possible and if this ring terminal was facing out against this way it would prevent this from being able to scooch up as far against the battery as it could. Now that we have our negative terminal connected this is live right now and if we touched this terminal to it we would cause a short which would be very bad so we want to be very very careful while connecting this terminal. For an added precaution, we're going to add this rectangular strip of fish paper, which is going to be inserted through our heat shrink of our battery right here, like so. And we're going to fold this around through the other side of the heat shrink. And we do this just to protect this terminal from causing a short potentially if something were to ever bump into this or touch it in the future. So that's what we're gonna want our fish paper to look like folded around our battery terminal. And after we get um, this side bolted on and done the same way, we're going to end up pushing this BMS closer against to the battery. And then we're going to run tape along from the battery around the BMS and then the tape is going to end up sticking on the back side of the battery to stick all of this together and keep this fish paper taped down against our terminals so these don't come loose. So just for now, for a little bit, before we get this side done, this piece of fish paper is just gonna be chilling here for a sec. Next, we can carefully bolt on our positive terminal. And we want this facing the same way as the negative terminal just like so. Now we can do the same thing as we did with this negative terminal right here with the fish paper. So we'll go ahead and wrap this around the positive terminal. After we have both terminals bolted down and connected and sealed off with our fish paper, our setup is pretty much complete. Um, the next thing that we need to do and pretty much the last thing is we want to push our BMS all the way up against our fish paper right here. And while we're doing this, we're going to want to apply some tape around the BMS and stick it on the battery, the BMS, and the other side of the battery to secure it all together. And we're actually going to be using a strip of this fiberglass tape right here. And I will show you what this is going to look like in a second. So here we have our fiberglass tape applied and now our BMS is completely secure to the battery, as you can see. So you're gonna wanna start your tape off somewhere around this area and you're going to want to touch the fish paper with the tape to get the fish paper to be held down by the tape. And you're gonna wanna run the tape along the BMS right here and over around the other side and it's recommended that you tape down this longer black wire right here against the BMS just so this wire isn't hanging out and flopping around everywhere. And then you just want to follow up with the same pattern on the back side and you're going to want to do the same thing to the fish paper right here with the tape and you're going to want to 
and the tape on the heat shrink. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial on how to assemble your BMS to your 12S4P battery pack. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you'd like to see something specific soon. Thanks, have a good day.